in this video, I'll be ranking all of the brand new Update 17 units from Anime Adventures. But before we get into it, if you guys are not subscribed, make sure to like and subscribe as I'm trying to hit 2,000 subs by the end of the year. Anyways, let's get right into it. Okay guys, I want to say before the fact that I'm not going to be ranking them based off pure damage. For example, if one unit may have a way larger range or more utility in general, I may be ranking that unit higher than another even if the other unit has higher damage. Without further ado, let's get into the rankings. At number 6, I have Mayday. Mayday's not bad, but Mayday Witch of Betrayal, which is her evolved version, only does I believe around 100,000 maxed, and she has I think 5 placements. Now with this, you're going to be doing 500,000 total DPS, which is not bad by any means. But the main reason that I'm ranking Mayday down here is the fact that there's just so many better options. In 5th place, I have Archer. Now, Archer is your generic, like, hybrid unit. He's pretty good, but overall, I would not recommend Archer. Just due to there's also better options, kind of the same thing with Mayday. Um, Archer does a lot of DPS, I believe he does 300,000 when max out, and he's also a multi-hit, so he's fairly good, but he's definitely not the best one out there, and I'd say if you're looking for a hybrid unit, there's better options, even from this update. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no, man. Alright, in third place, I have Saber. Now, I actually changed my mind on this. I originally was going to put Lancer here, but... As I've kind of tested them both out a lot more, I've kind of realized that Saber is a little bit worse than Lancer. They're both very good. And this is the kind of point in the list where the units start to get really good. I'm not ranking them here because they're bad. I'm ranking them here simply because there are better units from this update that are going to be able to help you more than the units here. Now, Saber is a ground unit, so you're also not going to be able to hit airs with her. But she is a light unit, which we don't get a lot of, and she is very OP for what she's able to do. I believe she does around 450,000 damage maxed out, which I'll put the damage right up here. And as you guys can see, she does a ton of damage and has a decently high SPA and some good DPS. Now, one thing about Saber that you guys might want to know, A, she's not full AoE, and B, she has a rather small circle AoE, so she's not exactly going to be hitting the entire map at once. But with that being said, she's very good, does a very high damage output, and I've been able to do stuff like solo raids with her, and yeah, overall, I would highly recommend her if you see her in Banner. She's one of the best ground units in the game, arguably probably like the second best in the game, so if you can get her, definitely get her. In second place, and the reason I put Saber in third is Lancer. Now Lancer is very good, guys. I'm not going to understate this at all. Lancer is just so much better than all the other ground units available. Lancer has a cap of, I believe, four units, but I'll put it up here. And as you guys can see, his damage is also very high too. While he only has a fairly low max out damage compared to Saber and the other units, he's going to give you a whopping 50% critical chance. This means that half the time you'll be hitting for double your normal damage. Now if you put a Lost Vein or a Nail Relic on him, he'll be doing a lot more than that. So I'd recommend both of those, and if you can, try to get some of his stats very high up too. And also, with Lancer, you don't need to rely on getting Unique for him. With all the other units here besides Mayday, Unique would be the play for them. I believe Archer 2 is also a 4, but um, for all the units that are 3 like places, which are most of the units here, you want Unique. But for Lancer, you only need Divine for him, which is so much more common than Unique. So, Lancer's definitely way more cost effective than just about any other ground unit. And did I mention how cheap he is to max out? He's really not that expensive at all. He's great for the current tournament too, or at least I believe the last tournament at this point, but he's great for any fire tournament, and yeah, I would totally recommend him. He's currently the best ground unit in the entire game. On the number one spot, and I'm sure you guys all guessed this, we have Gilgamesh, King of Heroes. Now Gilgamesh, I'm going to be ranking him at one, however, I don't believe Gilgamesh would be number one for story mode, and the reason I'm saying this is that Gilgamesh is extremely expensive to max out. When I'm doing raids or other story mode content, most of the time I find myself using things like Saber or Lancer. I don't often use Gilgamesh in story mode due to how high his upgrade costs are. But if you're doing infinite, where money's not as much of a problem, definitely get him. If you guys look right here, as you guys can see, he does a huge AoE, and his damage 
is the highest in the entire game currently. I believe out of any unit, even Ainz, he has a higher damage. And keep in mind, Ainz is a one place, Gilgamesh is a three place. Like, if that doesn't scream OP, I don't know what does. But Gilgamesh, you're gonna get him through the secret portals, so he's gonna be a fair bit rarer than other units. For example, he is a 1% chance if you have the double drops on him, and if you don't, he is a 0.5%, meaning 1 in 200 portals, you're gonna get him. But yeah, if you can manage to get him from a portal and get lucky, then definitely use him in your teams if you're doing things like infinite, or maybe even 20 wave raids. Now I believe that concludes it for this ranking, if you want me to rank other things like the best ground units, best hybrids, or even best hill units, make sure to drop a comment down below on what kind of tier list or rankings video you would like me to make. Without further ado, I think that's where I'm going to end it. Thank you guys for watching, this is Mr. Moogla signing off, have a great day, goodbye.